All we're asked to do here is factor the common factor out of each expression. So that means we're going to look at each term and see if there is something in common in those. So we want to look at the coefficients, the 15, the 10, and the 15, and then look at the variables. So with the coefficients, we want to think, does any number go into 15 and to 10 and to 15? We want the largest number that divides into those, and that's a 5. So we can put a 5 out here. And then we want to see what's in common for the variables. Well, there's an x cubed in the first one. Well, there's an x cubed here. There's more than x cubed. There's an x to the fourth. And then here, this has an x cubed. It has actually more than x cubed. It's x to the sixth. But x cubed is what's in common. So we're going to put an x cubed here. And then we think 5x cubed times what gives me this 15x cubed? Well, 5x cubed times 3. The 5 times the 3 will give the 15, and we already have the x cubed. We have a plus sign, and we think 5x cubed times what gives 10x to the 4th? Well, to get the 10, we need a 2. 5 times 2 is 10. And then x cubed times what gives x to the 4th? Well, that's just another x. So we have three x's already out here. We need one more to get to the 4th. And then, again, we have 5 times 3 will give me that 15. And then x cubed times what will give the x to the 6th? Well, we need another x cubed. So really, a reminder, when we're factoring, we're really trying to see what two things multiply together will equal our original. So we were able to take the sum of three things and write that as, well, this is one thing times another thing. And so that's factoring. The next one's very similar, similar numbers. So we want to think, what's the largest number that goes into 15, 10, and 5? And we know that 5 goes into each of those. And then think, what variables go into all of these? Well, only an x. This has an x to the 6th, x to the 4th, and this just has an x. So the only one that's in common in all of them is just a single x. And then we're going to see what multiplies to get, to get this. So 5x times what gives 15x to the 6th? Well, to get 15, we need a 5 times 3. To get x to the 6th, we need an x times an x to the 5th. And that would give x to the 6th. Plus 5 times 2 would give the 10. And x times x cubed would give the x to the 4th. And then we have to think 5x times what gives 5x? Well, 5x times what gives you 5x? That's just 1. Don't put a 0. It's not 0. Some people tend to leave it blank, which is not correct. We're thinking what times 5x is 5x? And that's just a 1. Something times 1 equals itself. And so there's our answer for that.